Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of First 15 here on Pastiche of Skin. We're here to play I Am Bread. <laughs> yeah, guys, this is another simulator fun times, a little experience. It is I Am Bread, the toasty maker, the breadalicious fun times. It is the chance to play as a slice of goddamn toast. You know, toast is nice. You ever heard that song? Yeah, toast. It's a great tune, but um, that's not in, that tune's not in this. Sadly, that's the biggest problem. It's disappointing that it's actually not in this. I'm feeling annoyed about that actually. In fact, oh, this is kind of disappointing. I kind of hoped that I would actually be able to hear "Yeah, Toast" because nobody else is actually listening to it anymore these days. Let's just jump into a level and take a look. Now, this is the story mode, so of course there is actually song behind it. Mr. Merton spent most of the session talking about his past, mainly focusing on his failed business, Merton's merchants, and the subsequent divorce from his wife, Barbara. He moved on to threatening the council again, as well as the local carpet world. The session ended with him angrily stating he was going shopping with the intention to eat himself to death. He appears to be dealing with the multiple stress points and focusing all his anger towards the council, to which he still claims they are responsible for the downfall of his business. I believe him now being employed by the council as a street cleaner is only exacerbating the issue. I suggest that he accepts that at this time things are, well, things are not going his way, but the positive outlook is imperative. Wow. Okay, that's not what I expected for <laughs> the intro to I Am Bread, a joyous occasion of just rotating around on a table until you've actually got yourself buttered and toasted. That's um, pretty intense, okay. So somebody's actually suffering from serious depression and um, have personified themselves as toast and try to put themselves in the oven or the toaster or uh, block themselves in the car and cook themselves from the inside with, uh, heating implements, I don't know, use a heat lamp and burn themselves to death. It's, I'm just, I'm just giving options. I mean, I'm just making it clear. There's options. I don't think it's actually a good idea, but I'm just saying, I mean, instead of pretending you're toast. But, um, well, he's not actually toast yet. He's not toast. He's bread. <laughs> right, so the basic controls here are each corner of the bread is... Assigned to a button, either up on the top right. Oh yeah, it's LR. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we're just using this now to actually momentum ourselves around. Oh yeah! Oh, I am one badass slice of goddamn bread. I'm wholemeal, motherfuckers. I'm wholemeal, I am plain, I am toasty wheaten. That's exactly what I am. Yep, come on, climbing. Keep on climbing, rotate yourself around. You're wide enough that you won't fall through the slats. Keep on going, yep. So, the um, basic controls of this is that you have a grip bar that actually kind of covers for the fact that you're holding on to objects as you rotate yourself around, and it'll recharge as you're not using it. And I am trying to find what can I cook myself with? I was kind of hoping there was a toaster up here on the shelf, but now I'm going to need to go further. Climbing along. Oh, 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 I thought those were raisinets. No, 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 get, no, ah, no. Oh, no, my bed's, cr bread's corrupted. Bread's corrupted. Not good. Oh, God. Why did they put. The ant nest is sitting right next to it, and it's actually got its lid off. What the fuck? <laughs> Goddamn kids. I need to clean up the kitchen, otherwise we're going to have no more bread. Oh, wait. I don't have any kids. My wife divorced me and left me in this apartment. <sighs> well, to the fridge. So we essentially clean ourselves around, try and actually rotate ourselves around the front of the fridge. Any second now. Any second now. Any second now. Okay, no, I appear to get stuck. All right, I'm okay. I was wondering there for a second. I was just kind of. Well, I'm imagining there's probably a lot of interaction with objects I use in this. Wait, is that, I thought that was like a milk carton or something. This is a Jenga tower. Come with me, Jenga tower. I'm going to use you to cover the floor and then I can ride across you on the tiles. All right, come on. Yank it. Give it a chug. Wow. <laughs> I think the actual, like, the physics... Oh, there we go. Now I've actually got myself free-flowing and rotate this thing all over the place. If I can get this to knock over, I might kill some of the ants unintentionally, but that's just revenge for me. Oh, no. That was a complete waste of time. I was kind of hoping to actually pull the whole tower down and then use it to land on top of it, but no. Uh, make myself a safety blanket. Uh, screw the safety blanket. Now we go to climb. At least that'll also keep the ants away from me. It's a nice wee wall. The impenetrable wall of Jericho. Okay. Yep. I loaf toast. I don't loaf toast. I love it. 
Uh, somehow I managed to pull that door open. Oh, shit. No. Ah, uh, my grip went and I actually fell over. All right. So the floor is dirty as well. So pretty much the improvise this is to keep yourself um, edible. And uh, your edibility will drop over time, mattering on what way you land, fall, climb. If you crawl through ants, you're probably going to lose your edibility pretty damn quickly. I'm going to... Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, God, I'm stuck behind this door now. I, to be honest, I wouldn't mind if I could just climb inside the fridge and relax, and I could keep myself for another day and be all good. All good and grand. But no, no, I'm stuck here on the floor, and I'm very, very quickly dying. Like, it's just a problem that whenever you try to like rotate yourself, if you cling badly, you'll like, hold on to thing that's trying to um, stop you from moving. All right, there we go. Come on. All right, flip the toast. Flip the toast. There we go. Flipping the toast. Yep. Pancake. 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 Oh no. Ah. Right. Let's try that one more time. Come on. Flip. Flip. Flippity flip. Yeah, I'm almost there. It's just one of those things where I lose track of which one is, because every time it rotates and flips around, you lose track of which one is holding on. Oh, okay, right, we made it up to the counter. Now I need to shimmy my way past this. I'm sure wet bread isn't going to help either, so come on. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, come on. Don't fall back down again. There we go. Right, come on, flop. We need to do the worm. To the worm. Bread, oh, ow. Bread worm. Worm bread. Well, to be honest, this is probably going to get quite wormy bread. It's already got at least a few ants stuck to the outside of it. You're right. Well, since you, whenever we toast it and we give it to grandma, we'll just say it's raisin bread, right? Raisin bread, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, shit. And the dog bowl as well. Nice. Ooh, we're going to have a nice meaty texture to this. So we're getting the protein from the insects. We're going to get the, um, the savory aftertaste from the dog chow. And now we're going to just find some way to cook myself. Which, to be honest, the closest one is right here. Well, I mean, imagine some homes are actually going to do the original old school thing where you just took the bread, shoved it on a fork, and put it underneath the grill. And I'll do the job. You put it down one side, and you toast it, and you turn it around, and you do the other side. And then you got yourself a good old fashioned slice of toast. Oh, that was brilliant. Ah, oh, I'm so happy. I just I caught that on the way past and just whirled it around. This oven is on full blast. Oh, I'm, I wish I was a wee bit higher up because I can't really cook from here. Oh, wait. <laughs> and the metal's heated up enough that it's actually cooking me by making contact with it. Fantastic. All right, we've got this beat. All I need to do now is just cook myself up. I wish I'd actually gone to the bother putting butter or jam or something on it. I mean... Maybe even ham and cheese, you know, a really nice ham and cheese grilled toasty. Mm. Oh man, I shouldn't even be talking about that. It's actually going to make me feel hungry now. That'd be terrible. Yummy, 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 I need food in my tummy and it's going to be cooking bread. All right, so I'm almost done with this side, but I'm not concerned. How, I don't know, because this is me trying to flip myself up. How am I going to get myself turned around in here? Oh, well, I suppose it makes sense. I'll just go out onto the, um, out onto the door, and then I'll, out on the door and try and, <sighs> what I need to do is reach up one side, grab hold, and then lift, yeah, there we go. <sighs> Come on. Come on, bread. Ready, ready, ready. I'm overcooking myself. Oh, 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 yes, 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 ah! Flipped it around. It's okay. Now I just need to slam myself against that. Bam. Oh. Do you know what? This this game is piss easy. Look at this. Perfect. Perfect slice of toast. This is going to be delicious. I mean, who doesn't like a slice of toast done in the grill? It's always nicer. It's a, it's a bit drier, and it's one of those things where you just get a good all-around toasting going on. Because you can watch it and keep track of it. You, you know what? No matter what, always, always do it in the grill if you can. <laughs> right. I am toast. What? E? Fuck you! That was reasonably still edible. I mean, it might be a little bit overcooked on one side, it was perfect on the other. That's a bit of an asshole move. Well, at least I'm all trapped in the oven now, I can just burn to a crisp. Hmm, alright. Let's see. We're probably just gonna have to move on. What comes on next? I wonder, is, is the narrative actually based around that dude? I mean, do we actually have him all the way through, or are we actually the psychologist? I don't even know. All right, we'll probably see now in the next wee bit. Nope, we're the same dude. 
So the incident in the kitchen? What did he... I imagine this is actually all being shown from like a, an alternate perspective. This is actually like the guy's head. Like So I, I, whenever I said about climbing inside the oven, I actually... He may have actually done that. Oh, that's a bit creepy. <laughs> um... Yeah, no, I, I, I've uh, essentially they implied depression and anger and suicidal tendencies in a man who's obsessed with bread. I don't know. Any time we're actually in a situation where we're under deep and emotional stress, we'll always find something that we can focus on, and it may become completely irrational, but we tend to what make sense of our th our problems by making one thing more important than anything else. I mean, you can obsess about something because. It, it's easier to obsess about that because it's something that's kind of that can be knowable rather than actually dealing with your own emotions. I mean, that's the reason why people try to be funny. I mean, God, that's the reason why a lot of people try this stuff on YouTube. It's just to kind of like find something that works for them. Not that I'm like talking personally about myself or anything. Okay, maybe maybe I am a little bit. Just trying to find a little bit of direction in life. But while I try to find the direction with my bread, I'm gonna get some jam on. We're jamming, we're jamming. I hope you like jamming too. Jamming, jamming. Oh god. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't really need that cutlery. I can just rub myself around on it. I'm just gonna smear myself in jelly. That's a, that's what Americans call jam, isn't it? Jelly. I suppose it's actually a fruit jelly preserve. Okay. Well, that is me reasonably well coated, I think. Hmm. All right, I'm moving on. So what I need to do is get myself turned into bread here. And I'm thinking, I mean, I can see in the distance there is a heat, space heater. So if I essentially held onto the side of that, I could cook myself reasonably easily. But it's getting across there because I'm on a table in the middle of the room. So, hmm. <laughs> Just like bang my head against that a couple of times until I figure out an answer. I suppose, actually, if I jump in this pot and get myself buttered up. I'll get all lubed up and ready for toasting. This way I might actually get bonus points and it'll be a little bit better than the um, E that I got the last time. But at least now I've got jam, I've got butter, and I've got a pot. <laughs> this is kind of the same as that Jenga. I just don't have the ma the mass to actually pull it over. Maybe if I'm weighed down with butter. <laughs> Maybe that'll be the answer. Weighed down with butter is the answer to all my problems. Just wriggle myself around it, flip myself to the other side, get an R we wiggle around. There we go. That, that, I, I look delicious. This is going to be amazing. No peanut butter and jelly in this house. It is butter and jelly. Right. So, now I'm kind of stuck in here. Right. Thinking. Best bet would be probably... If I pull this down and hold it to the side, and I can at least use it as a step, and then maybe run quickly across the gap. So, if I can roll this down... It gets me part of the way there, and then I can, like, sprint to the couch. Because otherwise, I'm just throwing myself off. At least this way, I can, like, throw myself forward, and I've got a platform to kind of run from. I might do the job. Okay. Swing and a miss. Oh, 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 there we go. Right. Now we've got the body biomass. The butter is on its way. The butter's helping me. <laughs> butter, you're on my side. In fact, you're on both sides. <laughs> Come on. All right. Roll it. Oh, oh. There we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Oh, I was wondering there. I thought I was going to be stuck underneath. Okay. And climb on top. Come on. Get yourself flat on there. Flatten out the bread. Now it's just a matter of getting myself flipped over onto the other side. Ah. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I thought that was going to go really badly there. Yep. Oh, no, that's gone bad. Ah, damn it. Well, that's my bread ruined. I'm a failure. That's not really going to help the depression at all. You know what, actually, that's a kind of really depressing note to go out on. I don't know, this game actually has a pretense that it's actually upbeat, cheery, kind of fun simulation times. And I'm sure for a lot of people it is, because they're not reading the interstitials in between. But um, it's a real serious problem. Actually, the stresses of life and of employment actually kind of pushing people to really try and find something that they can obsess over or be really focused on. Um... I don't know, maybe, maybe that's kind of one of the things that I think about YouTube being like, that I'm actually focusing because I want to do something that's creative, that people can see. And um, I hope you guys are actually enjoying what I do put out, because it may be stupid bread, but it's stupid bread that actually kind of like is funny in its own way. 
So, um, do you know, like, like those BBC programs say, if you've been affected by anything you've seen in today's program, uh, make sure to call a number. I don't have any numbers listed and available, but I do have a comment section, and you're more than welcome to say whatever you want, because I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. So, um, you know what, guys? Until the next video, bye bye But take care of yourselves and watch out for each other. Thank you.